there a long time. She goes, hey, is there anything here? A reentry program is for inmates in their six to their last six to twelve months of incarceration, and consequently they'll come here for some intensive programming, and that intensive programming will hopefully ready them for their release. Because whether they're here or not, they're going to be released in six to twelve months. We're just hoping to make them more ready and more adjusted to being out in the community again. The inmates will be going through a very rigorous screening process before they come here. The facility will house 500 inmates. Um, legislation for 8900 and for this particular facility, um, you know, we're only allowed a maximum of 500. So. But while they're here, they'll be going through 8 to 12 hours a day of intensive programming from various things, from um, drug counseling to education to um, maybe even some vote training. We're going to have some vote programs here, but those haven't been decided yet. Today, it's just it's been the process of being repurposed. It sits vacant uh, as it stands. Uh, we maintain the facility, the equipment as it stands. Uh, we do uh, corrective uh, uh, planned uh, preventive maintenance type uh, PMs on the facility. It is utilized uh, every once in a while for training. I believe it's at least twice a month on Wednesdays. Uh, one of our units at headquarters comes down and uses it for emergency response training. This is a, a main yard, uh, exercise yard. Um, it does, uh, typically you have a gun tower out, out here on, on a main yard. This facility, you don't have any towers at all. We have four housing units, a culinary. We have our support buildings uh, programming. We have a chapel, a gymnasium. A uh, housing unit that includes a uh, hundred beds. Um, there's a uh, small program areas off to each side uh, uh, on the first tier. Uh, you have uh, gun ports, you have uh, uh, a control booth as, as you would see in all typical housing units. It's a typical cell, I believe it's like six by ten. Um, has a steel bunk. Uh, it has two steel bunks actually attached to the wall. Uh, these units here have been retrofitted for a different occupancy, occupancy rating, so they don't have uh, toilets or sinks in them as of yet. There is a small storage uh, shelving unit uh, with a, a desk and a uh, swing out stool, I believe. In terms of this facility, you know, the Department of Corrections and the City of Stockton have had a long relationship. This facility has been here since 1986. Obviously now we're repurposing it for male inmates. But we believe that with the erection of the electrified fence and so forth and the other safety con um, measures that we're going to be um, constructing here, that you know, we feel that the department will continue to have a good relationship with the city and maintain the public safety that, you know, that the department has been known for.